History is often told through the lens of wars, kings, and empires. But there is another way to understand the past through the materials humans have used to shape their world. Metals, in particular, have played a pivotal role in defining civilizations. From the first hammered copper tools to the industrial steel that built modern cities, the story of humanity is written in metal. But why do we divide history into periods based on the metals used? And how did each era revolutionize human life? Let us embark on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the four great metal ages, copper, bronze, iron, and steel. Before humans discovered how to work with metal, they relied on stone, wood, and bone to craft tools and weapons. These materials served them well, but they had their limits. Stone tools were sharp, but brittle, while wood and bone lacked durability for heavy duty tasks. Without metal, societies remained small and progress was slow. Then came one of the most revolutionary discoveries in history metallurgy. The ability to extract and shape metals changed everything, setting the stage for the rise of cities, trade, and powerful empires. Around 5,000 before Common Era, humans learned to work with the first metal, copper. This period, known as the Copper Age or Chalcolithic period, marked a major technological leap. Early people discovered that copper, found in ores like malachite and azurite, could be hammered into tools and ornaments. This was the birth of metalworking. The oldest known copper tools date back over 7,000 years and were found in the Middle East, particularly in Mesopotamia and Anatolia. One of the most famous examples of Copper Age technology is Ötzi the Iceman, a 5,300-year-old mummy found in the Alps. Ötzi carried a copper axe with a blade that was 99.7% pure copper, proving that early humans had already mastered smelting. However, copper had a major weakness. It was too soft for tasks requiring strength, like plowing fields or making effective weapons. This limitation led to the next great breakthrough, the discovery of alloys. Around 3,300 years before the Common Era, metal workers discovered that adding tin to copper produced a much stronger material bronze. This marked the beginning of the Bronze Age. Unlike copper, bronze was harder, more durable, and better suited for weapons, tools, and armor. The invention of bronze fueled the rise of powerful civilizations, from Mesopotamia and ancient Egypt to China's Shang Dynasty. The demand for tin and copper led to vast trade networks, with tin coming from places as far as Britain and Central Asia. The Minoans of Crete, the Mycenaeans of Greece, and the Hittites of Anatolia all thrived due to their ability to produce and control bronze. Bronze weapons gave armies a significant advantage. Swords, spears, and shields made of bronze dominated the battlefields of the ancient world. The famous Trojan War, described in Homer's Iliad, is thought to have taken place during the Bronze Age, with warriors wielding bronze swords. Some of the most remarkable artifacts from this era include the Mask of Agamemnon, an intricately crafted gold funeral mask, and the Nebra Sky Disc, a bronze plate inlaid with gold which is considered one of the oldest known representations of the cosmos. But the Bronze Age had a downfall due to its reliance on tin, a relatively rare metal. When trade routes collapsed around 1200, before Common Era, likely due to war, famine, and natural disasters, civilizations that depended on bronze found themselves vulnerable. This crisis set the stage for the next great metal revolution. Around 1200 before Common Era, a new metal emerged, iron. The Iron Age began when metal workers discovered how to smelt iron ore at high temperatures, producing a metal that was both stronger and more abundant than bronze. The Hittites, an ancient Anatolian civilization, were among the first to master ironworking. When their empire collapsed, ironworking knowledge spread rapidly across the Mediterranean, the Middle East, and Europe. Soon, civilizations from the Assyrians to the Greeks and Romans adopted iron technology, using it to expand their territories. Iron tools revolutionized agriculture. Stronger plows meant farmers could cultivate tougher soil, leading to food surpluses and population growth. In warfare, iron swords, like the famed Roman gladius, replaced bronze weapons, giving armies a significant edge. One of the most impressive achievements of the Iron Age was the development of steel, 
an alloy of iron and carbon. Early forms of steel, such as Wootz steel from India, were highly prized for their strength and sharpness. The legendary Damascus steel, used in medieval swords, originated from this ancient technique and was renowned for its ability to cut through lesser metals. Iron wasn't just for weapons and tools. The Iron Pillar of Delhi, standing for over 1,600 years without rusting, is a testament to the skill of ancient metallurgists. It remains one of the world's greatest metallurgical mysteries. While iron was revolutionary, steel would change the world forever. The earliest known steel production dates back to around 1,800, before Common Era in India, where blacksmiths developed a technique called crucible steelmaking. This process produced high-quality steel that was used in weapons and armor across the ancient world. But it wasn't until the 19th century that steel became the backbone of modern civilization. The invention of the Bessemer process in the 1850s allowed for mass production of steel, making it cheaper and more accessible. Suddenly, steel was everywhere. Railroads, bridges, skyscrapers, and machinery all depended on this super strong alloy. The Eiffel Tower, completed in 1889, was made possible by the abundance of affordable steel. The rise of steel also fueled warfare during World War II. Nations like the United States produced millions of tons of steel for tanks, ships, and aircraft, playing a crucial role in the war effort. Today, steel is an essential part of everyday life. From cars and appliances to medical instruments and space exploration, steel continues to shape the world in ways our ancestors could never have imagined. From the discovery of copper to the rise of steel, metals have shaped the course of human history. They have fueled empires, driven innovation, and defined entire eras. By studying the metals we use, we uncover the story of how civilizations rose, thrived, and fell. So the next time you hold a metal object, whether it's a coin, a tool, or a piece of jewelry, remember that you are holding a piece of history. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories about the materials that shape our world.